How's it going guys? Nolan here with a new video. As you can see, if you saw my last video, I actually have lights coming in. My room, it looks yellow when the light is on, just the room light, so it wasn't really doing it for me. I do want to work on the setup. My setup is ever evolving, guys, so um, yeah. I might want to do something about this bed being here. Maybe I'll put a green screen. Not a big fan of that. As you can see in the title of this video, Top Pops did review two of my Funko Pop collections which to me is an honor guys. This guy is one of the top Funko Pop collectors on YouTube. So for him to review not one, but two of my collections was really awesome. He did review my It collection, which you can kind of see in the background there, and my My Hero Academia collection. And uh, him and his mom, they gave their thoughts about what they thought about it. And I also liked their you know brief discussion about box collectors, out of box collectors. So as you can see here, this is actually one of my recent purchases. I am an out of box collector. Do have some in box. Sign pops, I keep them in box. Uh, it's just, you know, preference. I mean, for me personally, I just feel that when they're out of the box, you can actually appreciate the figure a little bit more. You can hold it. You can see, you know, all the detail it has. But on the other hand, if you keep them in box, you keep the value up, but a lot of these boxes actually have good box art. So, I mean, it's, you know, to each his own. What are you guys thoughts? Comment below and let me know. Now, I actually did find out today that I have a pretty valuable pop, which is this one. I did not know that this guy went up to 70 bucks, but then when you take them out of box, it kind of depreciates the value. So, you know, it's kind of like, Mr. Owl. How many lifts does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. But you never know, guys, because even when you have valuable pops, some of them, even when they're out of box, they stay high in value. So what are you guys' thoughts about that, too? So if you guys want to check out that video, I'll leave the link down below. Now, I do recommend for you guys to see it, not just because my collection was in there but also because they reviewed a lot of other collections that people have and it was cool just to see how people display their Funko Pops uh, box and out of box both ways and they also gave me ideas of things that I might want to do in the future so uh, check that video out guys it is a good one now I've been watching top pop since 2017 when I started my Funko Pop collection my first Funko Pop ever was actually the Black Power Ranger and the reason why this one was my first one it's not because I wanted to start collecting Funko Pops. The actor that plays Zack was at my local Comic Con and I wanted something for him to sign. So I went with a friend of mine and he had a couple of Pops in his collection. And he mentioned to me like, hey, why don't you just get a Funko Pop to get signed? And I was like, why not? And I, and I saw it and I was like, these are kind of cool. So as you can see, he did sign the side right here. And then he also signed the top, which was pretty cool of him to do. And he also left his business card. Um, he has like his social medias. I'll actually post that up here, guys, if you want to see it better. Because I don't think I'll be able to get a good close-up image like this. But he's a pretty cool guy. You should check him out. He does a bunch of Comic-Cons. And uh, I would recommend for you to meet him one day if you ever can. If you are a fan of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Going back to Top Hoss Review, there is one thing that Tristan's mom mentions. And what, you know what, let's just check it out. I think that looks really, really great. It might be a tricky to dust. I'm just I, gonna put I, that out. I, I, I used to have that problem no, as well when they were out of box. Dust. Oh, right. Yeah. I, well, there was that as well. Yeah. And you know what, guys? I kind of have to agree. One con to collecting out of box is that they do get dusty over time. So if you don't really see yourself dusting them, if you don't want to dust them, I'd recommend to keep them in the box. Um, I do have some methods that I do to keep them dust free. So if you want me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll get working on that one too. And that actually brings me to my last point for this video. Uh, what I want to do with this channel is to actually share things about my collecting experience, um, even maybe do reviews. I started to branch out into collecting other things like SH Figure Arts, uh, NECA. I even started collecting um, fig pins, band prestos, you know, just different things. I can even show how I display some of my sections if you like how I do it. Maybe do some videos on tips on how you can set up your collection. Just let me know down below, guys, what you would want to see and I can get working on that. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. 
um, if you liked it make sure to drop a like subscribe for more leave those comments so I can know what to be working on for the next videos in the future I do want to hear your guys feedback and what you want to see I'm gonna send this video out with a brief tour of my it and my my hero academia collection since those were the ones that were reviewed and uh, if you want to see some of those collections more in detail you want me to talk about you know uh, certain pops that you saw on that just let me know also anyways take it easy guys Thank you